Hi there, my name is Anton and I'm a front-end developer, actually full stack, but my main angle is front-end. So this is my first video actually on the YouTube channel and I'm so excited to present my plans. Um, I decided from taking you through the whole process of building full stack web app from scratch to deployment and it won't be simple to the list or um, hello world app no it will be real app with authorization and some useful features so in this video we'll talk mostly about stack and the main parts of the app i've already built prototype and in the upcoming videos we'll build it step by step from scratch so i hope you are already excited as i am so let's start about the stack We'll use T3 stack. If you don't know what it is, I highly recommend to check it. I add the link below. So T3 consists of several parts such as Next.js, TypeScript, TRPC, Tailwind, Next, Old Prisma. If you don't know these words, it's okay. Just follow what I'm doing and you will be rewarded. Trust me. So T3 is more than opinionated stack and it has everything inside to create the app from scratch. It's a great pick for us. And uh, I have to say that it's not an entry-level stack. If you are a beginner, consider learning basics first. Now let's talk about the main parts of the app. So this app may look simple, but trust me, more we dive into it, more features will come and you will grow as a developer. So this app is about training your typing skills. And the main parts are, of course, authorization. So we'll build logic for admin and user roles and implement different type of login such as Google and Discord and probably email login. So the next big part is widget related to editing and adding fragments to train. So this will be tricky because we need to implement validation on backend and frontend and store somehow the fragments for training code fragments. So the next big part is logic related to actually training widget and um, here we have bunch of interesting stuff like speed calculation gathering stats and keeping it in the database also we have here proper rendering for the input so we should make it good and uh, clean so and also we need to do all of this architecture wise and design it well so because it should be like production level application so we'll implement maybe in future different additional features like dark theme and multiple languages and adaptive design maybe we'll add storybook and of course we'll implement deployment logic and backend logic so i think this is it for this video and in the next one we'll start building this app so see you soon thank you